Harmonizing is straightforward if you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're in the right place. So there's two ways to tackle harmonizing. There's the way with some knowledge of music theory, and there's a way without much music theory knowledge. So we're gonna go through the music theory version first, which is the more kind of traditional harmonizing that you would hear in most songs. So the first things you need to learn are your major and minor scales. So we're gonna talk about the A minor scale. It's all the notes from A to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, which I'm going to play right now. So there is your A minor scale. Now, what you want to do is look at the notes of the scale. For example, let's pick A. To harmonize, you go up two notes to C. So you find a note in the scale and go up two notes within that scale. So if you want to harmonize A, you'd have to use a C note. And the thing is, most of you guys have done this already because it's literally just your A minor dyad, but instead we're gonna be playing it over two guitars. So this guitar here, the Donna DLP, is gonna be playing the lower harmonies, the note of A, and my Jackson is going to be playing a C note, which I'm gonna show you now. So as you can hear now, the sounds of the harmonies are slowly coming together. And of course, you can apply the same principle with a little melody. So now what I'm going to be doing is playing the notes of A, C, and E, and harmonizing those notes with the notes of C, E, and G. And there we have our developed harmony. Now you can apply this principle with your minor scales and your major scales together. You can just pick any scale, E minor, A minor, G minor, G major, C major, any of the scales, write out the notes, figure out what you're playing, find out what the original notes you're playing are, the original note patterns, and then using the scale, play the notes two notes above. Another cool trick to use is to harmonize your chords. So you can come up with a chord progression in the key of E minor, for example. I'm gonna be playing E minor, G major, F sharp minor, D, G major, and F sharp minor. So let's quickly go through the notes. E minor has E and G, G has G and B, F sharp minor has F sharp and A, D major has D and F sharp, and then going back to G major and F sharp minor. So I'm just gonna play this riff now. And now here are the harmonies. So here's the chords that we're gonna harmonize. Guitar one played E minor, we're going to be playing G major. So it's G and B as our first chord. And then we're playing B minor up here, B and D, then to A minor, A and C, then F sharp minor, F sharp and A, and then repeating B minor and A minor. So I'm gonna harmonize these chords now. doing there is deconstructing a triad because a E minor triad would be the notes E, G and B but one guitar is playing the lower two notes and the other guitar is playing the higher two notes so that's something to keep in mind when you're harmonizing. Now if you don't know any music theory you can still harmonize because harmonizing really just means more than one note together and they can be you know more happier harmonies but you can also make more dark and more interesting sounding harmonies if Sometimes if you don't know what you're doing and if you find things by mistake instead of following the rule book. So the second way to harmonize is through an intervallic method by using intervals. In other words, you can just play the same thing and have the other guitar playing the same riff, 
just in a different part of the fretboard. So I'm just going to be playing this quick demo riff and I'm going to be harmonizing with the other guitar in different intervals so you can hear what's going on. <laughs> requested lesson on harmonizing. Just to recap, learn your scales, your major scale and your minor scale. Also learn your intervals and also learn how to play in time effectively because if you're harmonizing two guitars and they're out of time, it's going to sound bad. This was a very straightforward lesson on harmonizing. It gets a bit more difficult when there's different rhythms involved and different notes involved and different types of harmonies. A good riff on harmonies is the somber lane. Uh, you can also do some Iron Maiden stuff, uh, The Evil That Men Do, for example, and some of the riffs in Hallowed Be Thy Name, just to start things off in a simple manner. A uh, big thank you for Donna for sending me this guitar. Some of you might be surprised by the shape, but it is really nice. I used to play Les Pauls back in high school, so it's just, um, feels kind of like playing an old friend. It's quite nice to play, actually. I prefer the neck feel over this to the Jackson. 25 and a half inch scale, so sized a little bit better than the Jackson. And this guitar plays great. 